Hi vlog and welcome to my long awaited room tour. Come on in. This is totally not the day before I move out. I totally am not filming this right before my parents and I are gonna start packing. If you're new to the channel, I'm Janelle. I go to Stanford University. I'm a freshman here and this is my freshman dorm. I guess to start off, when you first walk in, here's my closet. <laughs> I have a lot of clothes. You know, this is like half of my, not even half, like a fourth of my closet from home. She's very packed. And my parents and I were really, really stressed about whether or not all my clothes would fit in my closet. But shockingly, she does. She fits pretty well. Okay, and moving on to my bed. So interesting. Um, this is a twin XL. I have a queen at home, so it has been very difficult having to adjust to the smaller size. I have woken up multiple times almost falling off the bed. Also, it's really high, so that's also an issue. As you can tell, we have a very pink aesthetic in the room. I don't know if you can tell my favorite color is pink because literally everything is pink. My parents actually went shopping after I moved in and then they came back the next week to drop off all the decor off. The real ones know who gave me this boba plushie. Stephen got it for me for Christmas this year. Here's my dresser, my rug, my ottoman. Actually, fun fact, most college dorm beds are very high and I remember when I first moved in I was like how the hell am I supposed to get on top of this bed like it's massive so my parents bought me a perfect ottoman so this is how I get on my bed it's so tall and I am so short My, um, my laundry, <laughs> my laundry roll away basket, wheels so that I can carry her up and down the stairs. Let's move on to this side of the room. So far, so far. Some more decor. I love Ariana Grande and I don't know if you guys remember in my move-in vlog, but I was like, I have these posters of Ariana Grande that I really want to put up. So I finally put them up. I think after four months of living here, I was finally like, maybe I should start decorating my dorm. I guess moving on to my desk. Because that's the only other part of the room that you have not really seen. Um, actually, I don't think you guys have seen my desk very often because usually I vlog from this angle. Exclusive tour of my desk. Um, so I have this Polaroid wall, which I have been taking Polaroids the entire year. And by the entire year, I mean I've been taking Polaroids for the past three days because I realized I didn't take any Polaroids freshman year. And I frantically was like, no, I need some like physical memory of like this year. So I took a bunch of Polaroids literally for these past three days. Um, let me see, see which ones are my favorite. These are um, my best friends Connor and Daniel fighting each other with a lightsaber and a golf club. Why? I don't know. This is Connor and Daniel too. Um, Mac and I uh, went around and took Polaroids around campus, but it was like midnight. <laughs> it was super late, so you honestly can't see anything. It's just pictures of him at this point. I have Polaroids of my parents and I in San Francisco. I have Connor again. This is Juan, my RA. I love Juan so much. A bunch of random photos that I've accumulated for the year, aka for the last three days when I freaked out that I never took any Polaroids. On my wall, I really like having just like physical things to just remember like the people that are important to me. So my parents got me this for my, I think my 18th birthday. And then this is the birthday card that my dorm made me for my birthday. This is a Hamilton ticket. So when I saw Hamilton with my best friend, Steven. Stanford pennant that we all get on our Stanford welcome package. Stanford daily stickers. This is a card of JLo's ass that my best friend Danny got me for my birthday. This is probably like my favorite part because I just get to look up and I see like the people that I love and the people that are important to me is just like right there. And it honestly kind of helps me stay motivated when I'm like having a mental breakdown over an assignment because I'm just like, oh, here are all the people I love. It calms me down. Anyways, here's my desk. 
where all my working occurs. So many mental breakdowns have happened at this desk. Uh, shelves, decor. My parents actually got me a bunch of decor because when I moved in, I had no decorations because I honestly had not planned on decorating it. Here's my my freaking final, my midterm, I got a 97 on. I kept it. I'm not sure to show. I have, I'm trying to collect shot glasses. Like, I don't know why, I just love collecting shot glasses. So I got this shot glass when I saw Hamilton. Mac got me this shot glass when we went to San Francisco together. My cousin got me this shot glass from DC. I just like the collection. All my bags are up here. I love purses and I also love pink purses. So they just fit perfectly there. Also, these are like some of my easily accessible snacks. I have a really big snack drawer under my bed, but it's kind of like disorganized right now. So you don't need to see it. But here's some like accessible things. And then just like my dishes and stuff right here. I got really emo last night because I was like, this is like one of the last times I'm ever going to sit at this desk and be in the storm. And I was just like, it's upsetting. I guess I should show you like how big the drawers are because I didn't know like when moving in I didn't know what the drawers looked like I wasn't really sure so apologies I mean they're not very organized on my part this is kind of my random drawer where I store just like all the things that I don't know where to put so I have like programs from like I have a program from when I saw rent a mendicants program Random stuff in here again. Like I just like store it, but there's like a good amount of space like it goes all the way to the back Like this one also goes all the way to the back. Oh, actually we don't need to show <laughs> We don't need to show these. Point is there's a good amount of space in these drawers and you have like this little sliding thing that I never use But honestly Loki I should have. Why didn't I use that? There's a good amount of space So again, if you are thinking of like how much supplies to bring um, you have like, enough storage to store those stuff in there I wanted to show you guys our very our pride and joy of this room and all honestly it's just our fridge cart we show this cart to every single person that comes into this room stanford provides a mini fridge in every dorm this cart is just like a process of what me and kate decided to purchase together so kate bought the cart and it just happened to be perfect size to fit in this little corner space of our room and then i bought the microwave for us and honestly every single like so many people come into our room and use our microwave honestly an essential to bring to college if you don't have microwave provided in your dorm it makes it a lot easier um here's my window <laughs> here's my view I can hear all conversations. It's really not that hard to hear what people are saying when they're down there. I've heard a good amount of things. I guess that concludes the room tour. Soto room 308 has been uh, the most memorable freshman dorm and I love Soto. I love the dorm community here. I appreciate my RA so much. They've done so much for us throughout the entire year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, comment down below what other videos you'd like to see, and yeah, goodbye. And that's all. Bye-bye. Or not. <laughs>